Hello students, welcome to Solve Sales classes and in this video I will be solving the following question. Now from the equation it is clear that this is a polynomial of degree n on x. So this equation will have n roots. We have to prove that all the roots are real that is it does not have any complex root. Now let us assume that this equation have two complex root as s plus i r and s minus i r as the complex roots always come in conjugate pair. Now since these values of x will satisfy the equation we will have the equation as a1 divided by a1 minus s minus i r plus a2 divided by a2 minus s minus i r so on till a n divided by a n minus s minus i r which is equals to 2015 similarly by substituting x as s minus i r we will have a1 divided by a1 minus s plus i r plus a2 divided by a2 minus s plus i r and so on till a n divided by a n minus s plus i r this is also equals to 2015 let us denote the first equation as 1 and second as equation number 2 now subtracting the second question equation from equation 1 we will have our expression as summation k runs from 1 to n a k into a k minus s plus i r minus a k bracket a k minus s minus i r divided by a k minus s whole square plus r square and this is equals to zero which is equals to this implies summation k runs from 1 to n 2 i r a k divided by a k a k minus s square plus r square which is equals to 0 now taking 2 i r outside we will have this implies 2 i r summation k is equals to 1 to n a k divided by a k divided by a k minus s square plus r square is equals to 0 now this part is greater than 0 as the denominator are the sum of squares so this is greater than 0 hence r must be equal to 0 to make this expression that is left hand side is equals to 0 which is our right hand side so this will imply that our r is equals to 0 so the imaginary part of the roots are 0 then the roots will no longer be the complex therefore our assumption is wrong and all the roots are real that is this expression has n real roots 